Doctor, when, when we talk to many doctors, they always talk about parasites. A lot of people are talking about that. Most people think there's no way I can have those things crawling around and, and eating off my body inside. Is that the case or is it more popular than we think? Well, it's very, it's very uh, common. I mean, it's very common. It's, it's evident out there. You just have to ask the right questions. When we have individuals that come into our practice that have a variety of health challenges, whatever that might be, that quote unquote are bizarre, <laughs> usually I start asking them some very significant questions, which I'm going to not, not expect you to give me an answer for right now, but I always ask them if they um, grind their teeth at night. And sometimes they'll look at me and say, well, I don't really know. And I don't want you to think that grinding teeth is the only body signal because stress can cause your teeth to grind at night mm -hmm. also. But I ask them if they wake up at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, which is common, then what uh, type of food do you eat? Do you eat wild game, which would include deer, squirrel, rabbit? How about sushi, or have you been to a third world country? And then I ask them a very significant question is, do you have a cat at home? And people who have cats are very passionate, loving, creative human beings. But commonly, they have challenges with parasites. And what parasites do is pretty much what you just said. They eat off of you. And the real significant aspect of parasites is you don't really know that you have them. So I, I thought I'd just bring like a very interesting uh, visual or prop for everybody that these are large worms. Um, the type of parasites that we see and um, typically you're not going to see, they're microscopic. Mm -hmm. But you could have a stool culture done and the stool culture, and it depends on who's doing the school, stool culture and what you're requesting, but you know, you could name the type of parasites that someone would have in their body. There is a blood test called a CBC, which is a complete blood count with a differential, and you look for the eosinophil count. If the eosinophil count, which is a form of white blood cell, is elevated, we see that in individuals who have parasite involvement. But this is the most common body signal, grinding teeth at night. And I'll have individuals and say to me, and you're going to love this, I don't grind my teeth anymore. I wear a night guard. <laughs> and it's kind of like, oh, oh, okay. But I do want you to know that it is quite common. Um, we use an emulsified oregano product in our practice. Um, there are many ways that you can approach them, but I'm going to tell you one important ingredient. Parasites don't like sulfur. Sulfur is found in broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower, eggs, onion, and garlic. We all are exposed to parasites on a regular, consistent basis. If you have enough digestive enzymes inside of your stomach, your own digestive system will pretty much eliminate a parasite issue. But if you have a passion addiction for sugar and yeast and wheat products, that just kind of sets up the environment for the parasites to hang out. And people might say, well, how can, I love my cat. I, I can't get rid of my cat. I'm not telling people to get rid of their cat. Well, I have an inside cat. It's never been outside. I really believe that you know, some of these house pets might get their parasites from the food that the owner is using. But there has been newspaper reports in the United States um, on cat bites. I know locally in the community I live, they did a big article about cats and the deer and you know, touching the, their fur. But you know, people love sushi. I don't eat sushi. And I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't, but I choose not to. So parasites are an issue. Sulfur is important. You may consider a stool culture. The simplest is a CBC, complete blood count with a differential. But if you had any of those body signals that I'm, I'm talking about, grinding your teeth at night, waking up at one or two o'clock in the morning, maybe even sometimes having crawling sensations in your body, or conditions of unexplained origin, you've been everywhere and nobody can figure it out, get checked for parasites. It'll, it'll surprise you.